When I fled Westeros, I washed up where most as grace knights do. The Golden Company. The best of the Eastern Sellsword Companies, for what that's worth. 20,000 battle-hardened men, horses, and even elephants, ready to kill their employers' enemies, no matter the cause, no matter the result. The Golden Company began as revenge. On his deathbed, a Targaryen king legitimized all his bastards, either to buy his way into the Seven Heavens or spite the family left behind. As everyone knew would happen, his great bastards weren't satisfied with their father's name and wanted his throne as well, under the banner of the new House Blackfire. Their true-born brothers disagreed. When the Blackfires lost the Civil War, they fled to Essos to gather a new army and return for what was theirs. But wars cost money, and Aegor Rivers, the leader of the Blackfire forces who now called himself Bittersteel, decided he could sell his army's services to other lords while waiting to return to Westeros. The Golden Company was born. For their words, they chose beneath the gold, the bitter steel to remind themselves that they weren't just hired killers, but knights of Westeros who'd one day retake their home. They never tried, because they were too successful as sellswords. When Kohor declined to pay the new Golden Company for its services, Bitter Steel dared what even the Dothraki failed to do and sacked the city. After filling the company's coffers, he declared that unlike all other sellswords, the Golden Company would never break a contract. So they haven't. But they also don't take contracts unless the odds are heavily in their favor. Cowardly, perhaps, but far from foolish. Quite a few wars have ended with one side learning the Golden Company agreed to fight on the other. Though it's not just their reputation that scares off would-be enemies. For some, it only takes one look at the captain's war tent surrounded by the gilded skulls of former captains, many splintered with the wounds that killed them. Any sellswords who'd waste that much gold must have a lot of it, and nobody pays in defeat. Could the Golden Company ever take Westeros? They get more practice fighting than the average knight, and their elephants could make a mess on a battlefield. But men who fight for gold will never fight as hard as men who fight for home. I should know. I've done one. Now I do the other. <laughs>